Colon and rectal cancers do not usually produce symptoms in the early stages of disease. As the tumor grows, symptoms will depend on the location of the primary tumor within the intestine. Patients with colon cancer or rectal cancer may experience one or multiple symptoms. These may include the following. A. Blood in the stool. In the event that you observe prominent blood in the stool or bowel movements that are deeper in color, this could be an indication that there is bleeding occurring within the rectum or the digestive system. Occasionally, bleeding may be present but not visible to the naked eye. It is possible that this type of blood, which is referred to as occult blood or hidden blood, will not be identified until a blood test reveals a low red blood cell count. B. Rectal bleeding. In most cases, the presence of bright red blood in the stool is an indication that there is bleeding in the rectum or colon, which may be an indication of cancer in the colon or the rectal region. Horhoids are another potential source of bleeding in the rectal region. People who suffer from hemorrhoids typically experience symptoms that come and go with flare-ups, whereas people who suffer from cancer-related rectal bleeding typically continue or worsen and are more likely to be accompanied with discomfort due to the nature of the bleeding. C. Changes in bowl habits. The following are examples of changes in bowel movements that may be indicative of cancer of the colon or the rectal region. Constipation or diarrhea that has just started. The frequency of bowel motions as well as their size and caliber can change. A condition in which the bowel does not appear to empty properly. Stool that is far narrower than the average, even as thin as a pencil itself. It is possible for a change in diet and unpleasant food, or an infection caused by bacteria or viruses may be the cause of occasional bowel movements. Nevertheless, you should consult a medical professional if you are experiencing something that is new and inexplicable, and if it continues for more than a couple of days. D. Abdominal pain and bloating. The abdomen or intestine region may be experiencing symptoms of colon or rectal cancer, such as bloating, distension, cramping, or discomfort in the abdominal or bowel region. These are rather typical problems that can also be brought on by a variety of illnesses, such as gastrointestinal distress brought on by a diet, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis. If you have abdominal pain and bloating that does not appear to have a clear explanation, you should make an appointment with your primary care physician. Our nausea and vomiting! In the event that a tumor in the colon or the rectal region is obstructing the intestine and preventing the passage of liquid or solid waste or gas, feelings of nausea and vomiting may be experienced. In addition, unpleasant stomach cramps, bloating, and constipation are among the symptoms that may accompany a bowel obstruction. There is a wide variety of illnesses that can cause nausea and vomiting, and these symptoms can range from mild to severe. It is imperative that you get medical attention without delay if you are experiencing chronic nausea, signs of dehydration or vomiting that continues for more than 24 hours. F. Anemia. A blood ailment known as anemia is characterized by a lack of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the bodies of the patient. It is possible for patients with colon or rectal cancer to develop anemia as a result of intestinal hemorrhage. It is possible that anemia is the initial indication that blood loss is taking place, although this is contingent upon the location of the bleeding within the colon. A pallor paleness of the skin, an elevated heart rate, weariness, dizziness, and irregular menstruation are some of the common signs of anemia. G. Unexpected weight loss, appetite loss, and weakness. When you lose weight, lose your appetite, or feel weak, these are all possible symptoms of colon or rectal cancer, in addition to a wide variety of other diseases that are not related to these cancers. These symptoms are typically associated with people who have been diagnosed with colon or rectal cancer. Loss of weight might be a consequence of persistent diarrhea. Pain in the stomach and nausea might make you feel less hungry, which can lead to a decrease in the amount of food you consume to keep your weight stable. All of these problems, in addition to anemia, might result in a state of weakness, like share and subscribe.